You guess it right ladies and gentlemen, it's your local favorite asset store reviewer here and in this video I'm gonna share 10 of my favorite assets for Unity to help you achieve realistic graphics for your games. All of the assets that I'm gonna mention in this video are going to be linked in the description box below. So after watching this video, if you guys are interested in any of the assets or maybe all of them, <laughs> who knows, um, make sure to check out the description box, you will find them there. So before we begin, this video is brought to you by Jason Weinman. Jason is an instructor and a developer who's made the incredible Unity Masterclass. The mastery course will teach you everything from the fundamentals and basics of game development all the way to using Unity for your professional projects. You'll start off by building a full 2D game using Unity and focus heavily on C Sharp to get a good grasp on coding. The course will then take you to 3D and even multiplayer. While working on these projects, Jason is going to be showing how to create the fundamentals for each project and one thing I love about Jason's course is that he enables you the option to work along other students and not only that but he involves one-on-one -on -one interaction between you and himself. You can check out more about Jason's Unity Mastery course through the link in the description. Our link is also set up with a special discount code special to our community so you will get 60% off the initial price. All right, so with that being said, get your wallet ready because it's going to be crying after this video. <laughs> Great, so we have motivation rolling on and now smash like if you enjoyed the video, hit subscribe for more and with that being said, let's get into it. So the first asset I'm going to talk about in this video is called Mad Goat SSAA. This is an affordable, complete, and stable super sampling solution available on the Asset Store. By using Madgoat's anti-aliasing, it is very easy to enhance the image quality of all your projects. Madgoat is very easy to set up as you just have to drag and drop the script onto your cameras. It also supports SRP or the Scriptable Render Pipeline and comes with built-in support for both HDRP or the High Definition Render Pipeline and the Lightweight Render Pipeline. This is actually one of the biggest reasons to why I include this asset in this list on top of the fact that I've been using it for like forever and you guys will know if you've been watching and paying attention to my speed level designs. Just a reminder that super sampling anti-aliasing from Mad Goat, along with all the other assets we're going to talk about in this video coming up soon will be linked in the description below so make sure to check them out. Moving on to number two we have a pack called Sun Temple. Now Sun Temple by Sandro is a big pack of high quality 3D models. This pack is built around a large environment with a temple and its surrounding areas are included such as gardens, living quarters, towers, study areas and various other buildings and structures. The interiors are walkable and decorated with props and the level feels authentic. You can of course use all these models to make your own temple and environment as well and speaking of which there are over 200 prefabs of structural and architectural modules, more than 160 props, bunch of decals, prefab buildings with interiors and so much more. And this pack is actually available for free on the Asset Store, which is kind of crazy to me. It, I think it used to cost, but then somehow the author decided to make it free, I believe. Um, but it is for free, so go ahead and download it. And now moving on to number three, we have Forest Environment Dynamic Nature. This is a huge library of 100% scanned assets by Nature Manufacturer. Nature Manufacturer is already known, pretty well known on the Unity Asset Store, I would say, for publishing these high quality asset packs. And this pack comes with a group of shaders, which will bring better quality and simplify your workflow. The pack also supports the high definition and the lightweight render pipelines. This pack focuses on multiple aspects, including artistic content, shaders, and tools. You get a big variety of vegetation, rocks, grass, and other objects like branches and logs. Now let's quickly move on to number four where we have something called Beautify. <laughs> I love this name because it makes me feel special every time I say it. <laughs> I don't know, just Beautify has like this little ring to it. It just rolls off the tongue very nicely. Don't comment on this, let's just move on. <laughs> yes, Beautify by Chronict is a full screen image post-processing effect that improves the image quality in real time, producing incredibly crisp and vivid scenes. Beautify enhances visual features and produces sharp images. It improves the pixel color when needed without oversaturating the image, removes the extra blur from commonly caused by anti-aliasing, and improves perceptual texture quality even for low resolution textures. Beautify works on WebGL, mobile, VR, 2D, and 3D. 
Hey, I just realized this name could actually be a very good fit for a perfume brand. So if you guys want to work with me, I am open for business. Unity, do not hear this. <laughs> Moving on to number five, we have Amplify Occlusion. Now, Amplify Occlusion is a part of the famous set of post-processing effects made by Amplify Creations. Occlusions, as the name suggests, it is used to add ambient occlusion to your scenes, and this pack sets out to deliver a new industry standard for fast, high-quality screen space ambient occlusion in Unity. This is a true all-in-one package providing highly robust and efficient way to simulate ambient occlusion and contact shadowing. Now you can really make objects actually feel connected to the world and add real depth to your scenes with minimal efforts. It's also lightweight enough for consoles, mobile devices, and even VR. And running up to number 6, we have Suburb Neighborhood House Pack. This is a modular pack of 3D models to easily create beautiful looking and high detailed residential houses and streets from modular pieces made by Finward Studios. This house pack helps you populate your scenes with huge amounts of props to create a complete suburban neighborhood. Package includes a modular road system with sidewalks, modular houses with exteriors and interiors, trees, bushes, flowers, cars, and just so much more. There are pre-made houses for you to use, or you can make use of the modularity to build a multi-story house, a cabin, or everything between that. And moving on to number 7, we have Rubble and Debris Modular Set. The contents of this pack by Lochner Studios is set in a realistic setting and are made with current and next generation in mind. The pack includes 11 standalone rubble piles, 50 standalone debris pieces, 4 tiled textures with height maps, concrete, bricks, blocks, and mixed style types and 4K PBR textures. So there's quite a bit in this package and you can check out the full details on the asset store page. All models come with several LOD levels, also called level of detail, and light map UVs to fit every project and the whole pack is compatible and optimized for mobile games. And next up at number 8 we have Stylized Forest Environment. This forest pack by Regus enables you to easily create your own stylized world and customize it for your game. The package includes 21 fully edible trees and... Not edible, <laughs> editable, <laughs> oh my god. Smash like on this video if you eat trees and bushes too and I'll buy you a Unity Pro license. But yes, editable trees and bushes, 18 low poly environment models including rocks, branches, mushrooms and fences, 19 textures of grass and ground, prefabs for summer, winter and autumn scenes and more. Honestly, I just can't make these asset review videos without including at least one low poly or stylized pack. <laughs> I mean, they just look awesome. And especially this one, because it, it basically reminds me a little bit of the game Firewatch. And speaking of which, I actually just started playing Firewatch again on the PS4. So I just wanted to ask you guys, what games are you playing? Let me know in the comment section. Either way, moving on to number 9, we have Aura 2 Volumetric Lighting and Fog. Aura 2 is made by Rafael Ernalston, I truly hope I didn't butcher your name, and it is a volumetric lighting and fog solution for Unity. Aura 2 simulates the illumination of the microparticles that are present in the environment but too small to be visible to the eye or the camera. Aura 2 brings state-of-the-art volumetric lighting system to Unity and all types of lights are actually supported and it comes with full shadow support. There is a volume injection to control density, scattering, light and ambient lighting. Aura 2 also supports light probes, multiple cameras and real-time preview in the Unity editor. And now last, but absolutely not least, at number 10, we have RAM. RAM, uh, no, 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 not that RAM. <laughs> RAM stands for River Auto Material, and it's made by Nature Manufacture. It's an advanced system to generate rivers and lakes very easily. The shader of RAM reads in the slope of the river spline and automatically generates waterfalls. Speaking of spline, there's a spline tool which you can use to easily define exactly where you want to generate your river. You have full control on every stage and you can control things like specular, smoothness, speed, normal strength, tessellation, foam, and pretty much any part of the river. You also get access to some artistic content within this pack, including 47 high quality ground textures, a set of river textures, stylized textures, PBR and non-PBR particle effects, example road material, 
photo scanned rock and more. This is also one of those packs that is actually too broad to be covered in one single video in like a one minute long segment. So I strongly suggest you to check this one out along with all the other assets listed in the description. But Sam, you never add the links you promised to add. I will literally delete your Unity project. Anyway, so that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys have your own favorite assets, let us know in the comment section and let us know which ones you're using the most right now. Make sure to join our Discord server where we casually run giveaways for Unity assets and talk about Unity and game development in general. We actually just reached 15,000 members, which is just mind-blowing. It's crazy. So thank you so much for everyone who's joined. And to anyone who has not joined, join and I'll buy you a cookie. Anywho, smash like on this video if you enjoyed, hit subscribe for more. And on that, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the comment section. I would also like to give a huge thank you to all of our incredible Patreon supporters from August and special thanks to Cupola, Infinity PBR, Flu Joey, Academy of Games.com, Sebastian Vaggy, Glasswell Entertainment, Couch Ferret, Tim Gunn, and Stephen Eddy. You guys are awesome. When I popped off, then you go gave me just a little bit of lot chop. Baby, so cold, he from the north, he from the Canada. Bankroll so low, I got nothing else that I can withdraw.